Hello guys, welcome to my channel. In today's video we're going to learn how to play Lost in Yesterday. If this is the first time you are landing in one of my videos, I recommend you to subscribe. I recommend to watch the entire video, grab your bass and work with me. I have chosen this song because it's really interesting the subdivision. This time we are going to think in a subdivision of three. Okay, with that in mind, we are going to learn first four different grooves to build the entire song. First, we are going to play E flat twice on the sixth fret, third string. Afterwards, we are going to play G one on the third string, ninth fret. Afterwards, we are going to play A flat on the sixth fret, second string. And afterwards, we are going to play on the eighth fret. Second string, B flat one. And afterwards, we are going to play D flat. And after you have played that D flat on the first string, sixth fret, we are going to repeat it. Then the first bar is going to sound like this. There you go. Let's move into the second bar. For the second bar, we are going to play G flat twice on the second fret for a string. Afterwards, we are going to play A flat on the fourth fret for a string. And afterwards, we are going to play B flat on the sixth fret for a string. After you have learned that, we are going to play D flat on the fourth fret uh, for a string. And afterwards, we are going to play its octave three times. Three times on the 6th fret 1st string. Let's hear only that bar. There you go, you go the 2nd bar. Everything together till now sounds like this. There you go, you got the first 2 bars of the 1st groove. Let's move into the 3rd bar. On the third bar, we are going to repeat exactly the same first bar, okay? Then, those three bars are going to sound like this. There you go, you got three bars already. Let's take a look to the last bar of this first main groove. For the fourth bar, we are going to play almost exactly the same uh, second bar that we have learned, but we are going to add some things. First of all, we are going to play the same G flat twice on the second fret four string. Afterwards, we are going to play E flat two bars uh, above on the fourth fret uh, four string, and afterwards we are going to play B on the sixth fret four string. Afterwards, we are going to play D flat on the third string. 4th fret and afterwards we are going to play A flat on the 6th fret 2nd string and afterwards we are going to play B flat on the 1st string 3rd um, fret. All of that sounds like this. And afterwards we are going to play D flat once and and we are going to make a slide to the E flat on the eighth fret first string. Perfect. It's a little bit challenging, but it's really, really fun when you get it. Let's hear only that bar together. There you go. The second group that we're going to learn is similar to the first one. The difference is going to be in the bar number three and bar number four. For the bar number three, we're going to play the same, the same two E flat twice. And afterwards, we're going to play F on the eighth fret, um, 
third string and afterwards we are going to play G flat. And afterwards we are going to play B flat on the second string A fret. That part sounds like this. There you go. For the four bar, we're going to play almost the same that we have learned before. We're going to play G twice, A flat once, B flat once, D flat once, and afterwards we're going to change the note. We're going to play B flat on the first string, third fret. That bar by itself sounds like this. There you go. Whole groove together is gonna sound like this. There you go, that's the second groove that we need to learn. The third one is a combination of the last two bars. Basically, we are going to play the first three bars of the second groove and the last bar of the first groove. That will be the third groove that we're going to learn. Let's take a look how that sounds. You know all the notes already. There you go. That's the third groove. Guys, let me know down below how you get along with this song and what kind of songs would you like me to teach you. Now we are going to move into the bridge. For the bridge, we are going to play E flat once on the first fret, second string, then we are going to play B flat on the first fret, third string once. Afterwards, we are going to play the same E flat on the second string and then we are going to play A flat and afterwards we are going to play B flat again. Remember that that A flat is on the fourth fret for string. That will be only two bars, okay? And afterwards we are going to play D flat. Let's listen only those two bars. There you go. Sorry, I'm mistaken. Uh, it wasn't two bars, it was three bars. Okay? And afterwards, we are going to play E flat again, a G flat. That will be it. Okay? Uh, let's listen to everything in context. The harmony that we are going to use in these um, bars is going to be E flat minor, B flat minor, E flat minor, B flat minor, E flat minor, and G flat major 7. Basically, that's the harmony of that section. Moving into the next four bars, we are going to do for the first two bars, we are going to play E flat, B flat, E flat, and G flat minor. Okay? Basically, that will be it. Let's listen only that part. There you go. And afterwards, we're going to play E flat minor, D flat, B on the B flat, obviously, B flat on the first uh, fret, third string, and it's octave. This time on this uh, third string twice, and B flat twice. There you go, you got the section. Remember that at the beginning of the video I told you that you need to learn four different variations of it. The last one of it is this one. You are going to play over G and D flat. You are going to play that G flat twice. And afterwards we are going to play A flat and B flat. You know where the notes are located at. And afterwards, we are going to play D once, D flat once, and afterwards, we are going to make the same slide. D 
This happened during the song after the bridge. Take a look to that variation because it happened in the last bar of those four bars of the groove. Okay guys, at this moment you got the entire groove of the song. The only thing that you need to take a look at is the rests on it, where the bass player stops the groove. Usually happen after the first three notes on the fourth bar of the groove that you are playing at that moment. Key points to keep in mind. First one, uh, keep the groove in your head all the time. Take a look to the rests that appear on the song all the time. Where to play and where don't to play. Take a look where you play full groove all the time or where you need to stop the groove and have a little rest. So you are going to build the form. Remember that form is key. And basically that will be it. Remember that you can follow me on Instagram, Facebook and my website. Links are on the description box. Thanks for watching. All right, guys. See you next time. Have fun. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.